Welcome back to Krendar's Adventures. So, I decided idling in the middle of an area where I could potentially get PvP invaded would be a bad idea. Idling there while I went to get my drink refill, so I decided to warp back to Majula. And I might as well level up while I'm here, so just did that. Okay, how's my equipment load now? It's 40%. Putting on the drain lake and put it at 57%. Um, still too heavy. Well, I can upgrade the gloves though. And. Oh, not the leggings. Actually, what if I. did that instead? Yeah, that'll work. That'll be a pretty good upgrade. Okay. Now we'll go back to where we left off. <clears throat> Slightly more armored. The, down the downside of the Drang Lake armor, even though it's really good armor, is the fact that uh, it reinforces with Twinkling Titanite as opposed to regular Titanite. But it's got really good base stats. I've tried backstabbing these guys before and it just doesn't seem to be possible. I like those little charms and whatever those little pendant like things are hanging off of the middle of the cloak though. That looks pretty cool. Whatever it is. Pardon me. I burped. Uh oh. Oh wow. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I remember it doing. Must be my change of armor. I don't know what the damage type is, though, of that explosion. Is it magic damage? Is it blunt damage? Is it... It's probably not fire, but... And there's nothing we can really do up there right now, so I'm not going to bother going up there. I'll be coming back there later, though. I just have to run so this brigade of snipers misses. There we go. Yeah, that's accurate. I'll give you a good rating for that. But first, I want to grab some loot down here. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, crap. Well, that got dangerous. Okay. Take your human effigy. I'm gonna kill you guys just because you pissed me off and I want to. Better chuck down some more Estus. Okay, I don't want to go down here just yet, but I did feel like killing those guys. We'll come back here later. One of the great souls we need to collect is down there. All those guys that chased us <coughs> were the, uh... <coughs> there goes the pursuer. Or the dragon that flies the pursuer around, anyway. So those guys that bum rushed us were the snipers with crossbows from up here. 
Hang on. Get the item, get the item, don't fall off. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably use a recharge. By the way, fun spot to farm. Keep doing that. Okay, now I want to go back to the other bonfire. Oops. Yeah, this part's considered to be a separate section for some reason. I don't want to do anything like with that really, though. Now I want to go to a different spot down here. Now this spot. Actually, wait a second. I can't go through here yet, can I? I haven't found any Ferris lock stones yet. Why don't I have any of those? I guess I had one earlier and I used it. But I need it just to be able to get past this area now. <coughs> huh. Alright. I guess I'm going to have to go to the other area then. Forgot about that. I know I can buy some, but it's no real point. I'm just gonna do this. Now this is a great spot to show one new mechanic they have in this game that Dark Souls 1 didn't have. There's actually a limit to how often enemies are going to respawn. After a while they'll just stay gone forever. This is obviously a great spot to show you that. <clears throat> it makes it handy for sections that you're having a hard time getting through and you just die over and over, you'll eventually clear out the enemies. Oh, nope. <laughs> Dead. Good example of why I want to clear these guys out, because they're dangerous and I want them gone. I don't want these guys killing me. When I'm trying to retrieve my souls from somewhere much more difficult to reach later. Now I don't know if the numbers are the same in every area, but I suspect they probably are. Or at least are similar. But I found that if I kill these guys off, I think it's 12 times if I remember correctly, they'll stop respawning. I've already killed them like three or four times. That was close. Okay. Come on, guys. God damn. Having them all so tightly packed together makes us dangerous. <clears throat> like I said, it's why I like to get rid of them. So that they're not going to be dangerous to me anymore. Oh, I almost forgot to grab that item. There we go. God damn it. Come on. Get out of that corner, chicken. I'm just murdering you repeatedly. What are you afraid of? <clears throat> oh. 
That would have been a fall to the death. Okay, we should be almost done with them. I haven't been counting, but I think that's probably seven or eight now. Something like that. So this applies to enemies anywhere in the game. This is just the best spot to show it. But if you use one of those bonfire aesthetic items I told you about by... by burning it here... And everybody who stopped respawning will start respawning again like the area was brand new. And they'll be a bit stronger. And I think that counts for bosses as well. See, there we go. Now they won't respawn at all anymore. Which makes this one fire safe again. Actually... Kinda feel like I should spend some of these souls now. Ah, uh, let's see. That should be good. Let's spend these souls so I don't lose them. Because there's some dang very, very dangerous stuff down below. Okay, let's see. What do I want this time? Um... Get some more vigor. Oh wow. Okay, I need to <coughs> eat another soul here. Oh no. One more. There we go. The salt fort, whatever that means. Reference to salty seawater? I don't know. I do not know. Tricked ya. Down we go. See that glinting item down there? I see it. And let's grab that. Now I'm probably going to die down here, so 
Let's go ahead and send that back up. We'll just have to be careful we don't end up in that water. Hello, big guy. Oh, God. Doing crap all damage to these guys. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. Come on. are nasty. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah. Ooh, nice. I've been playing for quite a while before I found out about that one. area anyway. Hang on. <clears throat> Need to get my pattern going. Oh. Screwed up my pattern. Formed skull. That is a rather interesting little great hammer weapon. We're not gonna use that on this build. Some of these have loot, but I never remember which exact ones. What is this? Liar ahead. Okay, whatever you say. I think I lured out some enemies. Yep. One of these cells has a submerged one hiding underwater as well. Oh. Yeah, that's the damage I was expecting. That's the amount of damage I thought those guys did. Those other ones must be just weaker guys. Oh, you almost had me. Is this the one? No, it must be the other one. This must be the one with the hidden guy.
No? Oh, maybe the hidden guy is the one I lured out. That'd be funny, actually. Oh, Pharos. Sweet. Now there's a key I need for one of the cells in there. One of them was actually locked up. Uh, is it is the key over here somewhere? I don't remember. It's such a bad memory sometimes, I tell you. Oh, I need the key for these too. And I shouldn't be fighting this boss until I have those keys. And of course I sent that thing back up like a dummy. <laughs> and now we wait. Exciting time. I'm gonna go back to the other place that was locked with the locked stone because <clears throat> I can't really fight the boss properly without that key. I suspect the key might be over in that area considering <coughs> that I got a locked stone here. Downs downside to the area we're going here is that it's actually a PvP area for some reason. <clears throat> so, Belfry Luna. We got a bell tower here. You can actually join a covenant revolving around defending these bell towers. But I don't really know why you would want to do that. Oh, I mean, in order to get PvP opportunities, I guess, but I don't know, like, lore wise, why the bells need to be defended. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. But sometimes other players will pop up and defend the area. Like that, right now. I saw him. He's down here. There you are. Uh oh. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Oh. <laughs> okay. You can be down there. Uh, here he comes. What the hell? Bit of lag going on there, I think.
control. Oh. Got the backstab again. I win. Who's a funny clown now, huh? And now I'll jump down to here because there's loot. I got a tight night chunk for beating him. Interesting. Wait, did that say chunk? Yeah, sweet. That's high level. That's nice to have. Oh, this this guy I killed earlier. <coughs> the black spirit guy. Dwarfy thing. He dropped loot that I didn't notice. <coughs> so the main reason we're coming here is well, I want to get through that gate. Because it leads to a new area. But I have to ring the bell to open the gate. I have no idea what princess these guys are even talking about in this area. The bell belongs to the princess, but I don't know who the supposed princess actually is. So, I don't know. There's another bell tower later in the game as well, but it's less important. I want to use the bonfire before I fight the boss, though. The guy's still just sitting there. He's full of threats, but he doesn't do anything. Lazy bastard. Ah. Uh, I should probably... spend some balls again. Before I jump in. You guys get to watch me make funny faces while I stretch. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna need one more. There we go. I'd like to get my vigor to at least 20. 10 is definitely low. Okay, let's call the episode there, but we will pick back up in a minute and see what we can do about the boss fight. And if any of you guys have watched my Dark Souls 1 playthrough, this boss will look very familiar. And if you haven't watched my Dark Souls 1 playthrough, go watch that. 